everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to be playing some minecraft we're going to be playing some swim and today is going to be a very important video now for those who haven't really caught up on my last swim live streams me building the show barn a little bit and just me talking about the difference between the show barn and the ranch i've been talking about moving my english horses to this barn for quite a long time with irl stuff going on and a big transitional period in my life and me just not being able to commit a ton of time to minecraft other than recording and editing it's been a little tough to continue the show barn and continue building but recently i have had a lot more time on my hands and i've been able to get on and actually put time towards continuing and finishing off the show barn so today we're going to be prepping the stalls and bringing the trailer over and moving the english horses into the show barn this barn was built by Jenny and Hannah and it is absolutely beautiful. It has quite a few stalls, it has big barn doors, four different aisleway entries, one of which comes from the entrance over here and another one goes straight into the arena down back. So we're going to be looking over a little bit of the barn. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've been working on with the show barn but it is not completely done yet so I will not be doing a full tour. The full tour will be for when I feel comfortable enough to show you guys the show barn with of course improvements to be made. I will probably always be building and adding and maybe even deleting stuff from the show barn just to kind of adjust it it's just kind of stuff like that where you slowly just grow with your minecraft barn you know so let's get right into the video days without water and long sun so grown we cross over borders to get where we are and it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you So these stalls are all set up already, they just don't have shavings, but they do have the grain feeder, the slow feeder for the hay, and two water buckets. And this is the light rubber mat. I'm probably going to be putting a little bit of shavings in here, but not like an excessive amount like my ranch, just because they're going to have a lot of pasture time. I haven't edited the inside of the barn since Jenny worked on it, but here's the tack room. The tack room is so cute. I just, I love how organized it looks. It just looks... So cool. Oh, excuse me. Is it, is that a baby chicken? Uh, is that a chicken? Oh, it's not a baby chicken. Hi. You know, if we find a chicken in my barn, it's meant to be, I'm gonna name it. It's a unique name, I know. You know, not many chickens have this name. No, stop that. Don't don't climb on the tack. Okay, so that's the tack room. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be editing at all because I really like the setup already. I just love how clean it looks. And then we have the feed room, which again, looks really, really nice. We have the quality bales and the slabs as well. So I can refill the feed from the stack over here. We just have some different designs in here. And then we have the whiteboard, which is a really cute idea. We're gonna close that so no horses get in there. Both of them are protected by web guards and they're the care size, so they're the three block size. And then we have the grooming area, which horses can now be cross-tied. So we have these two hitching posts as more of like hooks and you can cross-tie the horse or you can tie them to this single hitching post over here. My chicken is so smart. So my show barn isn't completely done yet. I have a lot to do. I have a to-do list like right in front of me right now on my desk. I've just been filling out as I go around. And when I have free time in real life, I just kind of sit down, put on some music, maybe get some tea, maybe some coffee, and I work. I get my little pixelated world edit hammer and I work. So I haven't been able to do a lot recently, but I did some stuff yesterday and today. This is a dressage arena currently. I have to fix the um, dimensions because I believe it is not the right dimensions, but it's kind of just a setup there already. I continue the lawn up until this point where I'm just going to be putting trees and different growths and stuff. And I want to keep it a little neat because I just made these bleachers. We have the Swem bleacher design which stacks, so it made it very easy to make bleacher designs. I also made this bleacher in like 30 minutes, so it's very uh, new and i'm probably going to be editing it and then we have the pastures which i'm not liking right now i don't know why it just doesn't look like it fits so i probably will end up changing the design of the pastures 
Definitely with the trees everywhere, I'll probably end up changing the fences and the trees. Jenny made these beautiful custom spruce trees for me. You can see I already put some over there by the little um, dressage arena covering. And I do like them, but I don't think that they're placed correctly in the pasture because they just look like uneven. I don't know how to explain it. If anybody has maybe suggestions of what the pasture should look like or like I could do with the pasture, always welcome in the comments. I finished the pathway. I made a little flower nature circle over here my little traffic circle and then it continues on and what i'm gonna do with this is i'm gonna start the trail so you can see right here is like the entrance and i kind of want to like connect a trail leading over to the ranch but I'm still unsure of it. I don't really know what I want to do with it and if I still want to connect them. I mean, obviously, RRP-wise, they're probably going to be connected or at least, like, somewhat close to each other. So I want to be able to have, like, a clear trail instead of, like, going through trees and struggling. All right, now that I showed you guys around the barn and I showed you guys a little bit of the progress I've been making on the show barn, we're going to go ahead and get the stalls ready and then we're going to work on getting the horses over in the trailer. I don't really know what set of shavings to use. I think I'm going to use for this barn dark shavings because the dark shavings I feel like just would fit the look. Why is the door gone here? Did I delete the door without realizing? Okay. I'm just going to kind of put it spotted across the ground because they do have the padding. The shavings are kind of just meant to catch like the pee and the poop, you know, when the horse goes to the bathroom. Obviously, it's not like as covered as the ranch stalls. It's still a little bit closer to it, but it's not as covered. So that's kind of what I was going for. actually so calming i don't know how to express how much i love this type of stuff just putting down pixelated shavings in my pixelated stall for my pixelated horses so relaxing this is why minecraft is one of my comfort games it's because brain activity almost zero no brain activity needed just right click place blocks yay happy <laughs> there's just a stall with like a mountain of shavings in the middle so we have all of the stalls completed we have shavings in the ones that we need to be using and i also have not done any of the water the feed or the hay yet but i'm gonna wait till i get the horses in the stalls and get them settled first before giving them any of that i said in the beginning that i'm gonna trailer them over but i just realized that if you look at the map and you look over here's the ranch right here right you look over here the distance between the two is really short so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to ride them over here call me crazy or whatever but it's such a short distance and you know we're all about adventure we're all about fun and it gives them exercise for the day because i have not ridden any of them today so we're gonna do that we're gonna give them a little trail ride and we're gonna bring them over to the barn and i mean the trailer is role play like obviously the trailer doesn't move it's a bunch of blocks i mean it would be great if it moved and everything but it doesn't hello shalom horses good morning oh all of them are in the pasture i just remembered that so the first horse that i'm going to be moving is kings and dolphin which were like my two ogs and then we have the horses that i chose their discipline for and brought them over here and put them in the barn recently i don't know why the signs do that i think it's with optifying because it does it with all of the signs not just the whitewash we have dolphin we have kings and then winnie is going to be eventing so she's also going to be moving over to the barn but she's in the pasture gooseberry is going to be staying taramesu is going to be moving because she's jumpers pumpkin's going to be staying because she's western dove is going to be hunter so she's going to be moving and Jazz is going to be moving, and Malibu is going to be staying. Yeah, there's only three mares that are going to be staying. Kings is going, Dolphin is going, Blue is going to be staying because he's Western, Goji's going to be going because he's Hunter slash Jumpers, Pyralis is going to be going, and then we're going to have all the rest of the empty stalls. So we're only going to have, we're only going to have one stallion here. 
that's gonna be lonely for him. Well, actually, we also do have the rescue horse, which the storyline is continuing very, very soon. So let's go ahead and move kings first. So for the horses that are gonna be moving, I'm just gonna be doing a simple black English setup with a white English blanket. It's not gonna be anything extremely fancy. Just gonna be enough so that I don't fall off the horse because if I don't have a girth, the saddle slips off and obviously I can't tack up the rest of the horse without the bridle, so. Directionally, I am incapable on Minecraft. Like even in survival mode, I am horrible at finding my way and finding direction. trees the trees please and we have arrived good job kings so beautiful okay so i was going to be putting the stallions on this side and i think i'm just going to try it if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out you know if if the stallions need to go on the other side i can just change them around it's okay there you go kings and your new stall I'm gonna give you some time to get used to that and back to the ranch all right, all right, who's next? Which one I use is next? It's gonna be a simple thing for Dolphin because he's an eventing horse. This is like, this is like a backyard for him, you know? And since you and Kings are best buddies, we're gonna put you guys side by side, like always. Kings and Dolphin have almost always been beside each other, so we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna prep the stallies in here, because why not? This horse is still jumping at the gate. Remember in my breeding video when I saw it like jumping at the gate? It's still doing it, it's still trying to escape. Hello Goji, it is time Goji. We're going to head over there, but I'm gonna try a different route. I'm gonna try the other way. If I just go this way, it took me that long to figure it out. That's kind of embarrassing. goji and you're gonna go well that one's not done yet so you're gonna go in here and i'll do the other one for pyralis oh my gosh you're so quick did you guys see his little happy trot he did a little like prance that's so cute and now it's time for the other eventing horse which hasn't really been out in the outdoors yet so i'm kind of excited to see how he handles this little ride Are you guys bonding now? Oh, you guys are bonding now. See, it wasn't so tough. Say hey, YouTube. All right, never mind. Someone is definitely in a mood today, and by someone, I mean dolphin. All right, so now we have Winnie, and we're gonna bring Winnie over there. Now, Winnie is an eventing horse, so I also expect her to be, you know, somewhat adventurous. Compared to the other horses, I think Winnie was the easiest ride as of yet. I think it feels like a legal ride in a barn, so I'm gonna hop off her and, and walk her over. All right, and there we have Winnie's stall. And next we have Jazz. Look at that pretty, pretty gallop.
<laughs> she's she's going for it. She's speeding. All right, there's Jazz. And then we have Dove. And I'll do Tiramisu last because she's out in the pasture. And I haven't yet made a personal pasture for Dove. I'm thinking of making a personal pasture back behind the kind of like the bare area behind one of the pastures. Just, you know, I want to have a few personal pastures. One for quarantine, another for horses that just seem to be pastured by themselves. Mm, Dove. Because Dove is a little bit of an aggressive horse. Her favorite horse in the entire barn, in the last barn, was herself. Um, Dove does not like other horses. I think the only horse she really got along with was Pumpkin. I guess just like Pumpkin was also kind of like a mean horse to me, not to other horses, but to me. And I feel like she just connected with Pumpkin in that way. Like, oh yes, we can both be jerks. So the last horse we need to get is Teramesu, which she's in this pasture somewhere, I think. Isn't she? Did she escape? Negative 1574, where is she? Okay, let me look at her exact chords. I literally just had to learn how to use TP and coordinates. And you're right here. Wait, where are you compared to... Oh, look at that. You're already here. Because you got out of your pen. <laughs> you know what? Tara May Sue heard what was going on. She heard me She heard me start to plan to bring horses over to the show barn. And she went without me. I don't think so. Tara May Sue paved her own way. I did not see Pumpkin in that pen either, which scares me. That means I'm gonna have to go find where Pumpkin's at. Seeing as I already found Tara May Sue outside of the pen. Way outside of the pen. Like, here's the pen. And Tara May Sue is right here. She traveled. That means Pumpkin's gonna be far away too. Get in there, Tara May Sue. I'm, I'm done with you for today. Yeah, yeah, no. You go into your corner. You go into your corner and you think about what you did. Now we're gonna have to go find Pumpkin. Let me go double check. Actually, at this point, triple check that she's not in the pasture. Ma'am, were you... Were you gonna go into the trailer yourself? Like, no, feel free, go on in. If you wanna go for a little a little trip, we can go for a trip. Pumpkin didn't go as far. Oh, there she goes. Okay, she's actually going into the trailer. <laughs> I didn't think she'd actually listen to me. She went from here to here, which is kind of like the same distance from here to here. They just went in like different direction. They both escaped and looked at each other and they were like, let's make our owner panic. All right, so we have all of the horses in the barn. Gonna be going ahead and making their tap boxes, filling up their food and their water, and getting everything set up in the barn from different things like feeding schedule and everything like that. I just wanted to show the process of getting them to the barn and also Tara Macy finding her own way to the barn. That was actually insane. A quick shout out to my Royal Peach members and also some random comments that I happened to screenshot and that I enjoyed seeing. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe, and I will see you in the next video or stream.